Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Carlos, thanks for holding through those two guests. In Texas, you're on the air. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here in Houston, Texas, Alex, and I'd like to talk about Rex 84 and the open border. Um, and it's all coming back together. Looking, I downloaded the internment and resettlement operation. Sorry, I'm just, my journal so pumping on everything going on. No, no, lately. exactly. Uh, we get close to things and then don't act like they're sensational because we're used to it, even though it's sensational. It's good you're freaked out that you've got the resettlement people they're hiring. It all just clicked. They've been hiring all those resettlement people for the U.S. They've been gearing up with all this stuff, and then now they're imploding the borders. It is Rex 84. Go ahead. It really is. I mean, uh, part of Rex 84, for people that not, don't know, I know you and I do, is to round up these people, detain them, and to be controlled by FEMA. Now, if you look back at our at the internment resettlement operation manual from February 2010 for the U.S. Army, it talks about this. It talks about it. they planned this and they're implementing And then it. that's the rollout of the new National Police Force with a mission that's real that they caused to then be a permanent force who will then be for the general public, just like the article linked on DrudgeReport.com. We have the local news clip we're going to play when we come back in the next segment. Armed Homeland Security Agents and Community Outreach to let people know they're in the area and to remind them to snitch on neighbors. I'm not kidding. So, and, I, and I'm glad you got chills. I'm glad you're stammering. I'm glad you're freaked out. That's a normal response when you discover an evil, premeditated plan that the Border Patrol, ICE, and Homeland Security won't even understand mid-level and low-level. We're here decompartmentalizing. But that's why they go, oh, there's no re internment resettlement camp program. There's no Rex 84. There's no FEMA camp. Blah, 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 blah. That's why that, you know, that congressman told Jesse Ventura that. And Ventura goes, here's the bill. And he goes, oh, that bill, FM 3-39.40. Go read it, folks. For the American people, how to process our Social Security numbers, all of it. Like, I'm going to do a special report on this tonight on the news. Will you guys print me that again? Uh, anything else, uh, Carlos? Well, um, people need to wake up because as they're planning to crash the U.S. dollar um, in the tournament resettlement manual, at the back, Appendix J, they talk about paying these uh, detainees, civilian internment uh, personnel in Swiss francs. Uh, it's in the manual. But like I say, if you go to Section J20, Appendix J, it's in there. It's all coming yeah, together. They, they, they plan when they implode the economy, absolutely. And it's Social Security numbers, how to process citizens, our Social Security cards. When we got this document, we broke this a few years ago, it took weeks for people to admit it was real. People were like, oh, it's not real. They finally had to admit it was real. I get to work, and I leave it on the bar, and I open it up and let my uh, customers look at it. Now I'm like, look, right here. Uh, HBD officers, read it right here. It's right here. And they're like, yeah, but that'll never happen. Well, it's happening now. And I appreciate everything you're doing. You know, the system is not broke. It's doing exactly what they designed it to do. And, you know, people need to get ready. They really do. And I thank you so much, Alex, for everything you do. Thank you. I just love callers like that. You can hear in his voice his concern, his passion. He's trying to warn people. And the Houston cops are good guys on average. They're going to go, okay, yeah, it's, but it'll never happen. Now they know it's nefarious. Now it won't just be the cover story when the nuke goes off or the dollar dies. And then, oh, well, we already have this set up for the illegals. You know, we'll just use it on you now. See? <laughs> and they've got all the churches working for them. Makes me sick. We're going to come back with uh, Ted. Sarah, Steve, and Ronell, that'll be it for calls. And then I want to get to this clip. 
armed Homeland Security agents and community outreach to let people know they're in the area. Feds out and forced to remind residents about the snitching program. <laughs> Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles and nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence but to expand the info war we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time only 39.95 a year that's more than five months free off the regular price not just this july 4th weekend but the entire month of july at madein1776.com molon labe you can take my gun from my cold dead hands In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. If you are in uptown Greenville today, you may have noticed the heavy police presence outside the bankruptcy court. We got several calls, so of course we checked it out. Several Homeland Security cars were stationed outside of the bankruptcy court and courthouse in Greenville, but not because there was a danger. Homeland Security officers tell nine on your side they were there as part of their community outreach to <laughs> let people know that they are in the area. They also were there to remind people that if they see something, say something, especially when they see anything suspicious happening outside of a federal building. Well, uh, yes, I do see something. I see helicopter raids, uh, armored vehicles, checkpoints, kids being trained to spy on their parents, parents being arrested because their nine-year-old daughter plays in the park across the street, totally legal, still they're in jail. I see total tyranny. I see the country collapsing. I see the borders wide open. I see uh, the drug cartels kidnapping people all over the U.S. now. I see you purposefully wrecking the country so you can be the heroes that race in with martial law and permanent state of civil emergency to keep us all safe. I see you guys carrying out just continual soft false flags. Because you know we'll catch you, you blow up another federal building.
We know who did it, the names, everything. We have the eyewitnesses. You didn't you, you didn't kill enough of the cops that saw you. It got out. Don Browning and others, the head of the K-9 unit. We know who you are. We got your hotel receipts. All of it is public. What are you going to do? It's been in the Salt Lake City Tribune. It's been in World Net Daily. It's been on InfoWars.com. Going to kill us all? We know who did it, where you planted it, everything. And you may not be convicted in court. You're convicted in front of everybody out there. And we know about the underwear bombing. You put in that drugged up Mutalib on there by the CIA. We broke that. Came out in Congress a month and a half later to roll out your naked body scanners. We know all about you running Al-Qaeda, running the narcotics, and running everything else. And you're not going to shut jack squat out. You understand? We have released the information, and now people know what to look for. So instead, you're just, gee, we don't know why all these people are coming. Turns out you had a secret deal last year with Guatemala. Impeach Obama now. And a deal with Mexico. It's obviously industrial level, letting them on the trains to come up there. You try to hop a train and come up there from Guatemala over a thousand plus miles. Do you know what they do? They knock your front teeth out and take you to a forced labor camp. New York Times reported on that. The shame of Mexico's immigration. Why, they're bad too. They have a border. And we went down and showed the border was open and showed them being loaded on the buses because the ICE agent told us where to go to get it on tape. And you you don't, you don't know the New York Times and CNN all already knew all that. You know they all know it's the end of the border. Now, again, even the average DHS cop or the average Border Patrol person are good people. They really believe they're fighting Al-Qaeda. They really went and signed up when they had family and stuff that died on 9-11. I know a lot of these people. I run into them and they go, listen, man, we're not bad. We didn't believe you. We thought you were nuts. Now we know it's true. This is scary. You hear them call in. You're right. It is scary. And guess what? We're all in this together. You think all your big shows of force and all this, you know, you're being ordered out there to do this. It's to acclimate everyone for federal police on the streets and military. We were sent video today that's going to be on the nightly news tonight. We don't have time to put it out now. Inside the military training to put black people in forced labor camps. Yeah, it's sensational. <laughs> I, just, I just can't handle it anymore. Man. I don't know. I may have to get out of here because I, I, I keep, I mean, it's just getting too crazy. I mean, I mean and he's probably going to, they're going to say we're racist when we put this out because we don't want black people in camps. I mean, I'm telling you folks, you don't want to chop black babies up. You're racist. I'm just so sick of it. I don't even know what to say at this point. <sighs> I'm just, I'm not complaining. I'm not whining. I, I'm just saying I, 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 sometimes I just leave early now because it's just like, it's overwhelming. <sighs> I mean, I can't sit up here and work till eight or nine at night if there's just always more. I, I can't even cover it all. It's just... They're destroying the country where we live, where all my family's buried. They're going to come for our guns. They already are in California and New York. They already took them in Chicago, D.C. Supreme Court ruled five years ago to let people be armed. They're not letting people be armed because they don't care. And I can't break through the language barrier. I... I I can't reach out to all these Latin Americans that are being used to do this. Plus, they wouldn't listen. Even if they know it's true, they'll say, yeah, I know I'm being used, but I need to eat. See, the globalists know how to just throw crises at you that are real. They run Al-Qaeda, but Al-Qaeda's real. They run the collapsing border, but it, it's real. It's happening. The media is always, Alex Jones doesn't think 9-11 even happened. Never said that. No, no, no. It's the White House that teaches 2 plus 2 equals 5. Oh, no, a 9-11 happened. They're a real Muslim terrorist. I don't know if they were involved in this, but they're real ones. I know the supposed hijackers were from Saudi Arabia, so we attacked Iraq. I know it's been used to take our freedom, and now we're told the Tea Party and veterans and gun owners are it. And every professional I tend to run into, lawyers and doctors... And preachers have been approached and been put into intelligence operations. And people, all of these movies and TV shows, all think it's like a status thing. Like, that's right. I've been recruited by the CIA. 
here, and I'm the principal of the school at the high school, and I keep tabs on everyone just for the country's security.